Welcome to another tutorial with CAT. Today I want to show you how you can enhance your photo with minimal efforts in Photoshop. I have here a photo of my good friend Anthony's. You find him on Instagram under anthony.gp. This is a black and white photo already, but you may want to enhance that to make it a bit more contrasty, especially for Instagram. We know the display for Instagram photos are quite small on the mobile phone, so we have to enhance the contrast a lot. At this point, I want to say thank you to Anthony's for sending me this picture to do this tutorial. Well, I consider this door here a bit disturbing in this picture, as well as the texture of this concrete column. Of course, there are many ways you can do that also in Lightroom. Today I just show you one version. I take the polygonal lasso tool and make a selection of this left side here. On top of this layer I make an adjustment layer, curves, and just darken this down as much as you like. I like it really black. Then we take care of this side. I think I will first start with making a selection of the first column in order to see how it looks like when it is a bit brighter. So we add another curves adjustment layer, lighten it up. You may are happy now with the result. So um, there is also possible to add more light to this section here of these shadows. That's what I'm doing now. I make a selection of the brighter spots on the floor. You don't have to wait for that, so I speed this up. So on top we make another curves adjustment layer with the active selection and um, take the light a bit up. I think this is okay, this is just fine. So for some of you this may be okay, they are happy with the result. Um, this is before and this is after. But for me, this structure here is not proper enough. So I had the idea to copy this column to replace this one. So that's why I'm, I'm going to the background layer and make a selection of the, uh, let's say, proper column. And uh, in order to copy it, I'm not very precise for the moment, uh, just to keep that for you uh, in place. So we are on the background layer and make a copy of it, of this selection, of the active selection. So Control J or Command J on the Mac. So you see we have a copy of it and we are going now to replace this column with the proper column, let's say. Um, I'm on the, let's see, name this um, proper column. Control T and we are going to replace that of course <clears throat> we have to scale that. Let's see what is fitting. I'm going to zoom that a bit. That is pretty good. Let's see if this fits. Well, this is looking pretty good. Now we make some small corrections on the floor. 
let's add to our new proper column um, a mask to mask this a bit up. Take a brush and um, it shouldn't be hard, totally hard, a bit softness, about, um, I would say about 80% hardness around that. And we cover it with black. Um, make it a bit smaller. This is a bit more looking natural than before. In order to give this brighter structure in front a bit more texture and um, make it a bit, we have to make it a bit darker. So we add another adjustment layer, a curves adjustment layer. Uh, do not forget to um, tick the clipping mask in order that it is only effective on the layer be be no below and uh, we make it a bit darker i want to correct these spots here too here and here so we add another layer and call it correction spots column We take the patch tool and just drag it to the left. Control D or Command D on the back to deselect. The same we do here, but now I take the clone tool and simply clone the other side. Hit Alt or Option on the Mac to copy Make sure Aligned is active and Current layer and all layers below So you take a proper copy It shouldn't be too proper, so this is of course not, not perfect, but um, I like for this photo a little bit of uh, this grunge style. So if we now compare it, this was before and this is now. I think especially for Instagram it's very important that you have clear lines, clear contrasts, in order to attract the viewer. So try it out. Thanks for watching and I hope we see you soon again.